first grade. Manu Ginobili is a first ballot member of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame for the class of 2022, according to reports, which sources confirmed the case at 12 Sports last night. The official announcement will come tomorrow at the Final Four of the NCAA Tournament. Manu helped the Spurs win championships in 2003, 5, 7, and 2014 before retiring in 2018 as one of the most popular players in Spurs history. He brought the Euro step to the NBA and along the way helped his home country, Argentina, win an Olympic gold medal. So Manu will watch his Spurs host the Portland Trail Blazers tonight, 7.30 at the AT&T Center. Former Arkansas guard and Wagner Thunderbird Amber Ramirez competed in the national three-point contest last night in New Orleans. She was one of the eight players selected for the event that aired live on ESPN last night. Amber is one of the most prolific shooters in the country and in Arkansas women's basketball history. She led the SEC in threes made during conference play with 52 and finished second in the league in three-point percentage of 44.8. Last night, she advanced to the semifinals with an opening round of 16 points, but she was knocked out in the semis, falling 25 to 14. Here is a very cool aerial shot of TPC San Antonio Oaks course, home of course to the Valero Texas Open. Russell Knox, who's ranked 169th in the world, shot a first round 765 yesterday to lead by one shot entering the second round today. I mean, that was a great shot out of the bunker by Knox. He shot a bogey free round and he was scheduled to tee off his second round moments ago at 1247 p.m. So here's your leaderboard today. Last check, second round. He jumped up 52 spots. JJ Spawn went two under this morning, and he's tied for second at a seven under par. A cornhole tournament for kids is about to start in Seguin, thanks in large part to Trevor Caballero, who's one of the best players in the country, and he's just seven years old. His dad, Justin, is from San Antonio, but they currently live in Jacksonville, Florida, because he's in the Navy. Trevor got in the cornhole when he was five, and he put himself on the map by winning a sanctioned tournament while throwing the adult distance of 27 feet. He beat adults. Trevor and his dad are bringing this tournament to the area to help kids get more involved. What we really wanted to do was just give the kids only um, a kids to play, or a place to play, I should say. Um, so this is only limited to juniors uh, under the age of 18. Um, we have some really incredible prizes that we're going to be offering, uh, vacation prizes. Um, we have, uh, you know, registrants as young as, I want to say, four years old, all the way up to 18. Okay. Um, so no matter the age group or the age, you know, the, you know their uh, the child's age, their skill level, um, you know, we're going to have a place for them to play. Trevor, can you tell me how you feel about this tournament that's coming up in, in San Antonio? I feel good. I think I'm going to win. Yeah, you think you're going to win? Yep. I would definitely bet on him. Kids Throw 2 is going down today and tomorrow at Tiger Sports Complex in Seguin from 1 to 10 today and 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. tomorrow, ages 18 and under. Online registration is closed, but you can show up the day of the event and you can sign up to play and you can check out kidsthrow2.com for more information. Awesome. This is the kind of kid you want to have at your like bar backyard barbecue, barbecue party. Barbecue, yeah, school and all I the adults. Yeah, I love to play games at these parties. I love oh, cool. Well, if you want to win, don't invite him. Yeah, exactly. Well, I love that he's throwing adult theory, distance so. and you see him jumping and he's still like right on aim. That's that awesome. Backwards hat and all. I mean, he's ready for business. Good luck to you. I know who else is ready for fiesta business. Mike. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. And yeah. how about some fiestified food? This Look is at great. this. You know corn in a cup, right? Well, check out this fritter. Ooh. And it's corn in a cup without being in a cup, but it's got everything that corn in a cup has got. And mm -hmm. we've got some beer to wash it down. Mike mm -hmm. Serino, what do you have here? What do we have here? Well, we've got some great uh, food, Fiesta food specials all day and some uh, 20 taps of the best local beer to try, try with it. All right. And Fiesta food at mm -hmm. Serino Brewery all week long. All right. She decorated the Hotel Contessa. Stephanie Pena Frost is here. How can we decorate? like that at home. So one of the things that we did was big flowers and lots of ribbons. It was go big or go home. I right? like that one. And we are crowning new royalty. El Rey Fido is coming up and some princesses. All right, mid 80s this afternoon with uh, more noticeable wind. And then this weekend overall a little warmer and more humidity that leads us to Monday again. We'll be monitoring the potential for some showers and storms Monday, mainly later in the day and overnight. So check in with us the next couple of days behind that low 90s potentially on Tuesday and then a dry front middle of next week 
gets us back down 80 70s. That means Battle of Flowers could be looking pretty nice. We'll keep you updated, guys. And John Paul, this is going to be your first fiesta. Exactly. Fiesta we got some fiesta. good weather, and then hopefully the rain chances pick up a little bit. We need that. We need it. All right. Fiesta Friday fever. <laughs> We're excited. That. <laughs> well, that's all for our show for now. Let's head it over to SA, SA Live. Live. Starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Friday. Big up the Fiesta, everyone. All the first round of big events kicks off today, including Fiesta de los Reyes right here at Market Square. And I'll tell you what, this is absolutely perfect here. Right. All right, he's my ghost rage. I'm Fiona Gorsiza, and we had an absolute blast last night hosting Fiesta Fiesta, the official start, of course, to the city's biggest celebration. Yes, about, what, 15,000 of our closest friends were there. <laughs> All of the Fiesta royalty, we are up on stage, right in the middle of everything. They did the cutting of the ties, the breaking of the Coscaronas. Look at all those folks out there. I mean, there's the confetti. We were up there on stage with the mayor, right, and all the and you know all the Fiesta royalty as well. There it is. There's the cutting of the ties. Okay, so and thank you for 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 you know reading while I was doing that because oh, yeah, um, I couldn't have gotten this uh, video from our vantage point there on the stage without that. <laughs> it was so much fun and everybody just had a wonderful time. The crowd mm -hmm. uh, couldn't have been happier and it's so great because it was the kickoff of a full fiesta mm -hmm. and of course ended with the fireworks last night, the kickoff of a full fiesta for the first time in, in a few years and boy, everybody was just in a great mood last mm -hmm. night. And we have some great you know, pictures from last night as well. There we are that was with broadcast. Ursula and Steve. They had it all live there, and there's mm -hmm. the mayor, Ron yeah. Nuremberg. Every year, we, we, you know, we get to take a picture with him. I know. He's <laughs> wonderful. This was our VIP backstage area. I just, <laughs> it was very VIP. <laughs> and there's some of the great uh, Fiesta royalty yes. around there. So. Okay, and, you know, the weather uh, was fantastic. And I remember you telling me that you told folks that they needed to wear a light jacket. It actually... And people came up to you thanking you. And I didn't know you had a jacket. Uh, you also put on there at the end of the night to keep a little warm. I got this off your Instagram. <laughs> I you know, knew it something is April was going to happen Day, today right? on April You know to always look on, over your shoulder okay. today. All right. <laughs> yep, and there it is. So, and thank you to all the fans that were out there that came up to say hi to us. All right. So Fiesta is extra special this year um, for our one family and first time celebrating their own brewery and pulling out all the stops to making it one to remember. Chef Jared Gatoni from Dos Serenos. Right? Did I get it right? Yes. Yes, Brewery is here to show us <laughs> what's on the menu for Fiesta and which of their wow. locally made beers, oh my goodness, okay, goes well with these dishes. Yeah, so we got all sorts of fun stuff going on for Fiesta. Hair of the right dog, now, Mike. So. Hair of the dog. Here exactly. we go. Exactly. <laughs> all right, what are we making today just for Fiesta? Okay, so uh, starting closest to you, that's going to be uh, our chicken on a stick, but it's actually chicken and waffle on a stick. Uh, so if you pick that up, uh, you can see on the on the bottom side we have a uh, um, a house pickled jalapeno with our uh, white cheddar cornbread waffle, uh, buttermilk fried chicken, and then uh, we top it off there with a, a chipotle hot honey. And the waffles are a little bit on the savory side too, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's the white cheddar cornbread waffle in there. Uh, put a little bacon fat, uh, um, gives yeah. a little 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 smokiness to it as well. Uh, makes it a, a a nice nice fun uh, twist on a somewhere between a, a brunch classic and a, a fiesta classic. Because so. everything's better with bacon fat. So. Absolutely. Okay, now we showed uh, some of this earlier, mm -hmm. right? This is kind of like corn in a cup yes. without being in a cup. Tell Absolutely. folks what, what this is. Uh, so this is, is going to be a corn fritter. Uh, um, so roasted corn, jalapenos, onions. Um, put it in a nice batter. Um, and we're going to fry this probably for about four minutes here. Um, when they come up, uh, as you can see there, we're going to uh, hit it with the um, the chipotle mayo. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a, a chili limon seasoning uh, in-house as well, and then a little bit of queso fresco just to kind of bring everything home with uh, your traditional corn in a cup. Where'd you come up with the idea of this? You know, so you can have a beer in one hand and just a corn fritter in the absolutely. other. Absolutely, yeah. skip the fork. Yeah, no, no silverware needed. Okay, <laughs> okay. No Speak cup needed. Speaking of all of the refreshments here, and boy, this is just like a little slice of heaven I'm in right now. What do we have here? Um, so on on the end here we have uh, that's going to be our our beer flight. We brought four beers with us today, mm -hmm. um, and then right next to it we also have a, a an agua fresca mimosa flight. 
Wow, a whole flight of aquafreshes and mimosas? <laughs> I like that. Yes. So what, what beer am I drinking uh, right now? So that is going to be our Sharon. It's a Schwarz beer. Ooh, ooh. You want to taste that? That's a nice dark beer, but not too not too heavy. Okay. And then next to that is a... <laughs> that is going to be the, the Magda Irish Red. Is this, oh, goodness gracious. And this goes yes. with what? All of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a wonderful Fiesta menu planned all week long. What are some of the other dishes that are okay. Fiesta inspired? Right. So uh, in front here, we're going to have um, a chamoy pork belly, uh, arugula and watermelon salad. And we did a little uh, chamoy and mint uh, vinaigrette as well for that salad. OK. Um, and then the last thing that we have here is going to be our tres leches pancakes. What? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Oh my gosh. OK, I'm, hold on. Keep, I'm keep putting on this down. Those yeah, keep, OK, yes. so. Oh my gosh. Uh, so to bring it all home with the, the, the brewery and everything, also uh, the the milk that we eat, the, the, that we use to, so to soak it, mm -hmm. it has uh, our, our Morpheus um, Imperial Stout as well. Uh, so there's definitely notes of, of beer in there, um, whipped cream on top, and then uh, a strawberry topping, a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I don't think wow. I ever in my life I've heard about beer into pancakes. Oh, yes, I like, absolutely. I like your thinking, uh, though. You'll find lots of beer infusions uh, all across our menu, actually. So. And about 20 different beers on tap, right? We have 20 taps, yes. Okay, okay. and then uh, obviously all of the other flights of mimosas and agua frescas and everything. Yes. And you, folks can sit out there on the patio and enjoy live mm -hmm. music, right? Live what music else? Fridays and Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. uh, and then so we have we do our brunch menu on Saturday and Sunday mornings, but we've also started doing them on Thursdays as well. Uh, we do breakfast for dinner all day. Um, so the same menu that you could get on a Saturday or Sunday morning for people that can't make it out on the weekends. We also do it during the week as well. All right. And how how long can folks get the Fiesta Five uh, food so for? This is going to be going on for the, the next 12 days or so. Okay. Um, Till right through the end of Fiesta. Okay, between the two, if you had to pick one, the corn fritter or the pancakes? Oh, that's not even fair, I, Mike. That's, those pancakes. That's the, the, wow. Like, okay, everything. No, I can't I can't do it. All right. <laughs> Dos Brando Brewery is located at 231 East Tavayos. They're in Southtown. It's dog friendly, kid friendly, husband friendly. For more information, go to our <laughs> website, salive.com, and click on the ad scene on SA Live tab. And by the way, Jared is a brand new daddy with a one yeah. month old. Just want to throw it in there. Congratulations. Congratulations. All, all right. right. We were talking about last night and all of the Fiesta mm -hmm. royalty and the various titles that they have. So hmm, let us know what would your title be if you were Fiesta royalty? Let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see your answer a little later on in the show. What did you have planned for me? I'm sure there's something. There might be. You'll find out later. Oh, great. Yeah. More April Fool's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. All right. <laughs> well, a brand new happy space is headed your way. Yep. Judge Tobias Strosky shares some tips from the pros on how to decorate for spring inside and outside your home. Take a look. now with Carla Reuter with CRD and Co and you are the perfect person to come to when it comes to adding some pops of color now spring is here and we need your help so you have some fun ways yes to Jen, bring that into this the year more than ever we're seeing big bright bold colors in the spring trends and I wanted to give you some ideas and tips on how to bring these fun colors into your home without having to redo the whole entire thing all right well can we start with the chairs because I, I yes. noticed these right away and I love this green color but I don't know if I would have went and picked that out. You know what I mean? So I get it. First of all, green is a neutral. So everybody can bring green into their home without having to feel like they have to redo the entire home. Um, we love to bring in different pops of color, rugs, pillows, you know, bringing these two little chairs maybe as your host chairs at your dining table is a fun way that you can bring a little bit of that spring air into your home. And we did it here by just layering some things. You know, a lot of people have blacks, whites, grays, browns in their home. You don't have to redo everything. You can just add some color. At this table, I wanted to talk to you about how you can easily 
without spending a lot of money, add some cool little touches to make it feel like spring. I mean, first of all, I love an excuse to have people over. <laughs> and what we did here is we found these great melamine bamboo plates, mm -hmm. which are, you know, inexpensive because yes. they're, they're plastic. Yes. You can use them full size, <laughs> kid friendly. But by putting them on here, it made it feel so spring-like. We brought in the hot pink. And then I love this idea, these cute little egg cups with succulents. What a great little parting gift for your friends. Yes. And nothing makes a home feel more like spring than bringing in all of these great little live plants and greenery. I love that. And then speaking of plants, you also brought in some plants. We did. We had these great little ba lidded baskets and we thought it'd be fun to put some live plants in them. So we ran over to Lowe's, picked up a few plants, added a little bit of moss. Again, another great little parting gift for guests. And it definitely makes the table feel more spring-like. Mm -hmm. I love bringing in the house plants to the table. And you mentioned layering. I see that we have different rugs going here and also on the table as yes, well. Yes, I don't want people to feel like they have to start fresh. Like it's spring, I've got to redo everything. You can take your existing decor and just layer on something that feels spring-like. You know, I could easily transition this to winter by just changing out some of the bright colors. But what we did here is, you know, we used the little uh, napkin rings that have the succulents on them, the bamboo plates, it all just made it feel spring-like. I mean, even down to picking the champagne yeah. bottle color, we brought in spring colors. <laughs> yes, the green, perfect. So layering, bold colors, and we love the bright colors for spring. Yes, and don't be afraid to mix and match. A lot of times what I'll do in the spring is just layer a rug on top of an existing rug, and you can find inexpensive rugs all over the place because they can be indoor-outdoor, like this pink and fuchsia rug that we have right here. Mm -hmm. um, it's easy to just layer the textiles on top to add that pop of color and then don't forget your throw pillows. Yes. Changing out those pillows on the sofa makes a huge difference. That's really what's in this year is bold colors, bold patterns, mm -hmm. lots of fun, unique textiles and color. Perfect, yes, because I noticed the stripes here and then you have it on the throw, but then yes. a pretty pop of pink on the, I love yeah, it, love it's it all. fun, it's supposed to be playful. I think we're all tired of sitting at home the last yes. few years. <laughs> so this spring, they've kind of elevated the amount of color and right. pattern and all the decor. All right, and inexpensive for a lot of these items here as well. Mm -hmm. Where can people go for more information? For more information, check out our website, CarlaReuterDesigns.com, or give us a follow on Instagram. Perfect. And for more information on Carla Reuter Designs, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen, or go to ksat.com slash happy space. Still ahead on SA Live, you heard all of those fun national holidays like National Chocolate Day or National Pencil Day, but one was created right here in South Texas. Hear what it is and how they're celebrating this weekend. Plus, one lucky SA Live viewer could win a $1,000 Visa gift card today. How you could be the next big winner. But first, she decorated Hotel Contessa for Fiesta, and now she's getting you all decked out. A local artist is showing you tips to knock out your Fiesta decor out of the park. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, our next guest just wrapped up, oh, just a little project, decorating a Riverwalk Hotel for Fiesta, and she's here to help make you and your home look absolutely amazing. Oh, we're gonna say here, we <laughs> knew her way back when. Our friend yep. Stephanie Peña Frost from Princess and the Monkey Home Decor is here to help you get decked out for Fiesta and share a little bit of the fun you can have at the Hotel Contessa. Exactly. They celebrate Fiesta, Gorgeous right? Pictures. They decided to just go, go out, I mean, big, 100% mm -hmm. Fiesta, Fiesta's back. We wanted to make sure that we did it right there. So You've got crazy. ribbons on your head, I love it. So <laughs> Thank your you. ribbon tying skills came in handy, right? It did. My ribbon tying skills, my ability to do things on large scales, all of my people came through for me. It's been absolutely amazing. Okay, that can be very frustrating for some people when we talk about ribbon tying skills, but um, yes. you know, here's a really pretty one, very simple to do, right? Yeah, you just kind of accordion it, and I did um, a pipe cleaner to kind of secure it all together. And that's, and that's what it. we're gonna be doing your hats with today, because Fiesta is all about the hats. I mean, last night you saw everybody with these great big hats on, so why not make a hat for yourself? It's easy, you just kind of throw some ribbons together, Fiesta ribbons together. I put some boas on. And this was Sorry. just a, how much did this hat cost? Two Five bucks. bucks. Okay. Yeah, and I got it at a, at a party supply store. 
And then when you do it upright, it is just going to look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So, so just kind of like lay some glue down on there. How do you get, I mean, is there any way, rhyme or reason where to start? Nope, just glue. Just, just glue. Just lots of, lots of glue okay. and um, you, just, you just layer it. It's all about layering. Um, you want to get a, 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 something, a fun festive base, and then from there, you want to add, you add the flowers to it and just kind of make it your own style. I, I you know, put some cute little dolls, cute little, um, cute little crowns with it, and just kind of make it exciting and fun. So how can folks at home decorate like you did at the Hotel Contessa? You know, maybe just on a smaller scale, right? On a smaller scale. Um, so I took a bunch of the, a bunch of the, the, the large flowers and just added ribbon to it. And then you could hang it from your porch. You can hang it from, from a light fixture. You can hang it on a wall. You don't have to have a great big wreath to do it. Or if you do, um, say you make one of these hats, you could turn the hat into that, that beautiful wreath that you can hang inside your house at a later date. When you decorate a, ho a house is one thing, but a hotel, I mean, is that the old saying, like, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? You just yes. eat one wreath at a time? One Exactly, just one step at a time. And what's really, what's really great that the hotel is doing, they're doing classes for the guests that are there. They're doing workshops. Mm -hmm. Well, we decided today to open up the workshops to everybody. So you could go onto either my website or to the Hotel Contessa website and register for a class on how to make a wreath or a, or a homemade metal or a fun fiesta hat. So it's a really great thing. It was only going to be for guests, but we decided why not invite the whole public down to the hotel for that. And for people that think, I can't do that, I'm not crafty at all. It's easy. I make it as easy as possible for them. We'll do, I do all the pre-work for them. It's just about assembling and I'm there to help with every step of the way from, from gluing to, to designing it, everything like that. It's not, it, it shouldn't be intimidating. It should be something that's fun. It should be something that's easy. Oh, look at you. Yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of going the, the elegantly simple theme. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Okay. A little bit of sparkle, a little bit of fun. And speaking of the fun, what's going on at Hotel Contessa? So they have a bunch of fun things planned. It's everything Fiesta. We have some, they have some really fun uh, Fiesta cocktails. One is a, is a watermelon Amiga, which I had fun drinking last night, mm -hmm. and it's uh, Ancho Tequila, watermelon, uh, citrus, and tahini, and it's really yummy. Okay. And then the other one is a Melon Cali Days, and it's, it, it's uh, Ancho Cali Tequila, days. melon liqueur, aloe liqueur, lime, and chamoy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that just sounds goodness refreshing. gracious. It's so good. Okay. On a hot day, sit outside at the patio, hot listen day, to the mariachi right music, watch can, the dancers. Can you make popsicles out of this? That'd be really tasty. Yes. Oh, yeah, definitely. It would be so good. Yes. That's yes. what we need. We need a freezer in here. All right. Yes. If you'd like to shop Princess and the Monkey Home Decor, Stephanie will be at the King William Fair Saturday, April 9th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the King William Historic District. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, there's going to be a new king in town. A free event where you and your pup can celebrate Fiesta Fido Royalty. And next, a national celebration started right here in South Texas. We're going to tell you what it is and how you can get in on the fun this weekend. It's straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you've heard of those fun national holidays like National One Cent Day or National Sourdough Bread Day, which are both today, by the way. But did you know that National One National Day was started right here in South Texas? And Amy Beerstead, owner of Handmade on Main, and Ashley Thompson, owner of Crazy Plant Lovey, is here. And Amy, you came up with a holiday. I did. A it's national my, holiday. It's my favorite fun fact about me. Well, yeah, it's a pretty cool fun <laughs> fact. So what is it and when is it? It is the first Saturday of every April. We're going to celebrate it every single year. And it's a day to celebrate makers, their blood, sweat, tears, talents, their uniqueness of their products. And if you're a crafter, it's a great day to get together with your friends and craft and make yourself. National Handmade Day. And you've got some handmade things that are going to, going to be going on tomorrow yes. during this big celebration. So first of all, what do we have here? What are we making? My project for everybody will be handmade DIY body scrub. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to take one cup of brown sugar, which is already in the and bowl, and half cup of olive oil. Mix that up, and then they get to custom blend their favorite essential oils. It'll be five drops. 
This is one of the easiest projects I have because we're going to have lots of kids in the store tomorrow. Okay. So every age can do this with a little supervision with mom and dad. And I'll have jars for everybody to take that project home. Oh, wonderful. And then another great thing for mom, dad, kids to do is to do succulents, but also get a little uh, fancy with them too, Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, so I will have a sand art succulent bar. You'll get to choose one plant, a clear glass container, and sand of your choice. I'll also have different rocks and moss if you want to add a different kind of texture to the top. Show us how it's done. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go So this. when you talk about handmade items, and it's not just craft things like this, but right. I mean, we've got just a great example of everything over here. Starting over here, what do we got? <laughs> we started carrying leather work. Mm -hmm. So we have leather shoes and leather purses, leather details on jackets. We also have custom signs, Easter decor. I think one of your favorite things might be our craft cocktail starters. Cocktail in a jar, all the little flavors and spices in there. Add your favorite libation and it's Fiesta. <laughs> yes. Um, and then we also carry um, Play-Doh made mm -hmm. in San Antonio. We have candles that are made in Bernie. We have cup koozies, purses, crocheted stuffed animals is one of our best sellers in the store. And we even have a few Fiesta medals from my business a few years ago. Okay. And you said you have about 21 different vendors that have uh, yes. items in your store? We have 21 makers in our shop right now. Most of us are very local to Bernie and San Antonio. Mm -hmm. We have two that drive a little further. <laughs> okay. What's the process like to come up with your own national holiday? <laughs> I was actually following a website for a couple of years that celebrates national days. And my kids and I, to make our their childhood a little more magical, and to create some social media content. We were celebrating days that celebrated food and dessert and pets and shopping small. And I wondered why there wasn't a day for us makers to celebrate our work and handmade products. So I went through all the steps. There okay. was paperwork, there was a proposal, and hundreds are proposed every year. At the end of 2017, I found out I was one of 30 something that were approved. And you were, and you were chosen. Yeah. Fantastic. And you said the nice thing is too, is I mean, these are your neighbors and that are in the community there and you get that face-to-face -face interaction, great products like this. And just that is fascinating how you're doing that. <laughs> beautiful that Trying is. Trying not to make a mess. Well, I'll tell you what, na tomorrow is National Handmade Day and the celebration is happening over there at Handmade on Bay Main. It's going to be from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. There's going to be lots of handmade products to buy. And for more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live app. Amy, Ashley, thank you very much. Appreciate it. These thank are you. great. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, it's Friday, and that means it's time to spin the case at Insider Prize Wheel, see what's up for grabs, and how you can be the next winner. And next, you're looking at doggy royalty. Why these pups are so special, and how you can join their big fiesta celebration. You don't want to miss this. Chicken on a stick, one of many items you can find here at Market Square. Fiesta de los Reyes is underway from now until the end of Fiesta. It's a great time. Good food, music, drinks, and maybe some dancing. seen a dog get crowned as a king. Guess what? You and your four-legged best friend could join the cute celebration. Kim Enzi, Director of Communications with the San Antonio Humane Society, is here to tell us all about the El Rey Fido Coronation. Yes, thank you for having welcome, us. Welcome. Yes, we're so excited to be here. Okay, so El Rey Fido, incredibly busy, okay, but we have some yes. of this court here. We do, right? we do. We have Zora, who is Princess of the Food Bowl is here. Oh. And then we also have Sterling, who is Duke of the Chew Toy. Oh my goodness, and look at their capes. Their robes, yes. Are, are their robes? Yes. Robe slash capes. They're amazing. <laughs> yes. They look so and cute. And that bow is incredible on her right now, bow. I can't even. So can anyone join? This is a fundraiser, right? So can anyone yes. join? Yes, yes. So the 2021 has ended, but starting in 2022, absolutely. So, or, I'm sorry, 2022, you can sign up and get ready to, to be a part of this. All right, so how, how did Zora become royalty? Yeah, so we just signed Zora up because we love the Humane Society and we wanted to help out. We actually sold Zora Fiesta medals to help raise funds. And the Duke, Duke 
Um, so we competed last year. Sterling was the Duke last year, so we competed again, got the Duke title again. So we just love helping the Humane Society. Sterling's a rescue, so we, we really enjoy helping the Humane Society. Well, Sterling, the camera's the other way. There you are, baby. There you are. Good job. Okay. So we just love their names and, and their titles, of course. But yes. now, um, how can Mike and I get titles oh of our Oh my own? gosh. So you guys can get involved and pick your royal title, so we're so excited. Okay. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right. Here it's here yours. Okay. Go. Everybody will have a title. Yeah. Okay. And, this, and then I get then, to this one. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I am going to be the. I am the maiden. I am the prince. Okay. Of. <laughs> no, it's Fiesta, right? <laughs> Everything's stuck. Okay. Just pick something. <laughs> oh, I am the maiden of sneaking food. How did I get yours? That's odd. I'm the prince you. of cocktails. <laughs> this is, oh, man. This is this a good one. Switch. This is totally. Okay, and you I'm are sneaking food because yeah. you're always sneaking food. Okay, and I That's am amazing. definitely the cocktails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and here are your royal. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yes. No. Right. We need the food the cocktail. <laughs> 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 Event. So the coronation event is going to happen this Saturday. It is at Hops and Hounds. Mm -hmm. um, we will have the royal court, the full royal court there. Also El Rey Feo. In addition, drink specials, food. Come on out. It's 10 to 11 and it is free and open to the public. All right. Thank you so much. Thank, and thank you. everybody. The yes. coronation of El Rey Fido. The 20th is happening tomorrow, April 2nd from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. at Hops and Hounds. It's an official Fiesta event. It's free. Open to the public. There are going to be vendors, Fiesta medals and t-shirts for sale. Special drinks too. For more information, just head to our website at SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And our friends from the San Antonio Humane Society are going to be back next week for our SA Live Fiesta Fido Parade. We've teamed up with five local artists to create mini floats for five local dog rescues. They're competing to win a $500 donation from Barbecue Smokehouse. You don't want to miss this. It's next Friday at 1 p.m. All right. Thank you, everybody. Still ahead on the show. Get ready for a spring extravaganza where you and your kids can go on a magical Easter egg hunt with fairy tale characters come to life. And next, every spin's a win. See what one SA Live viewer walks away with today and how you could be the next big winner. Don't go anywhere, that's coming up. Spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner and every spin is a win. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Let's meet our winner for today. Drum roll, please. I'll do it on here. Rose Trujillo from San Antonio. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And congratulations on being a winner. So how long have you been watching KSAT? I've been watching KSAT for the past 15 years. Wonderful. Wow, okay, so what are your favorite things that you see, say, on our show, SA Live? Oh, I love all the um, food recipes that y'all do, the drink recipes. I love to incorporate we, those things in my own kitchen. So. We, lo we love it too, because we get to eat it and drink it. So. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so you love the outdoors. Where's your happy place? Honestly, my happy place is Phil Hardberger Park. I love to walk those trails. Um, I have been a fan of kayaking, so I'm super excited to kayak the river walk next. I haven't had that opportunity, but that is next on my list. I've heard of people and, and seen video of that, and that looks really fun. So, okay, well, I'll tell you what, uh, you told us before, but which prize do you want to win? I want to win that Visa card. Uh, all, right, all right, that's just one of them. Count us down, give it a spin. Three, two, one. And of course, the $1,000 Visa gift card, a taste of San Antonio valued at $100, Adam Kasky thermometer, an $80 <laughs> value, or a $100 HEV gift card. We're hoping for that $1,000 gift come card. On, Is it going on. to happen? Uh, 
$100 HEB gift card. That's pretty good because you can get to uh, try some of those recipes that you see in our show. Oh, well, congratulations, of course, on your win. We're spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner every week, and you could be next. But you have to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website ksat.com slash insider. Thanks again, Rose, and once again, congratulations. Yay, thank you. Y'all have a wonderful day. You too. Next on SA Live, a magical Easter egg hunt and even a dinner with characters from Encanto, where you and the little ones can enjoy this one-of-a-kind experience that's coming up. Well, right now, it's a good idea to get an AC tune-up in early spring before the summer rush. And KSAT local expert John Wayne's service company shows us why. Hi, I'm Jeremy with John Wayne Service Company, and today we're going to be performing an AC tune-up for one of our customers. Let's go check it out. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the filter for our customer. Uh, this one's been in here approximately a year, and it's definitely time for replacement. So next we're going to change out the bulb on the whole home air purification system and then we're going to open the system up and uh, replace the surface sanitization bulb as well. Okay, so now we're done with the bulb, so we're going to move on to the condensation drain. The normal operation of an air conditioner unit does remove humidity out of the home, so that is a normal operation. We just want to make sure the drain is clear. So the inside portion is complete for today. We're going to go ahead and move to the outside and complete the maintenance. Now we're back outside and we're going to go ahead and do the maintenance on the outside unit. We're going to remove the top, make sure all the leaves are clean from the inside out. Um, we're going to wash the condenser coils from the inside out as well. We're going to open up the hood out here and check all the electrical components and make sure that they're functioning proper, properly as well. Well, that's it for today. Once again, I'm Jeremy with John Wayne Service Company, and if you're in need of an AC tune-up, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, these are just two of the dozens of fairy tale characters that are coming to life to help your children have the most magical Easter ever. Kayla Gavigan, owner of Once Upon a Party, is here to tell you all about their spring egg extravaganza. <laughs> this is such a fun event, great family fun, great memories, and with a lot of their favorite fairy tale characters, right? And an Easter egg hunt. Yes. We, ha we have to introduce yeah. Tinkerbell and, and Rapunzel, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. They're two of the ones that will be there that day. Okay, <laughs> and speaking of the Easter egg hunt, you need an Easter basket, right? Absolutely, and we, who doesn't love something custom, right? So today, we thought we'd, I'd bring some of my fairy tale friends to help us decorate. We've got Rapunzel over here with a mess free option. She's got some butterflies, some letters, some ribbon, things that you can use that are mess free, like I said. And um, you can kind of adhere and, um, and just go to town with <laughs> having fun. So, along with brunch and all the fun and you get to make these crafts like this. Right? Uh, we will be doing various um, activities mm -hmm. um, and so we'll lots of fun with the characters and, and everything to do. Okay. So over here with Mike though and Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell has obviously used her creativity mm -hmm. to tinker away at, a, ba at a, a basket or a bag that's great and reusable for library books, um, craft supplies, whatever you would want to put in after. So we thought maybe Mike could showcase his artistic skills today and decorate his own too. <laughs> okay. Okay. And <laughs> Yes. Besides just the Easter egg hunt and the photo ops with yeah. all these characters, um, you guys have a breakfast and a lunch prior to the, you know, kind of the egg hunt event, right? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. So before the event, you can do a VIP package, which would include a dining experience where you and your family would get um, to partake in a meal with our friends from Encanto. And uh, we'll have Mirabelle there to be able to do um, some exclusive meet and greets and, um, and just greet guests and everybody. 
Um, and then after the meal, you'll be able to go out into the event and uh, see the fairies and princesses and all sorts of fun things. <laughs> and there's even a petting zoo, right? Yes, there is. Our friends at Once in a Wild are going to be back with us again. We love having them out, but they're going to be back and um, they're going to have a petting zoo. They'll also have some live stage um, for more of an educational kind of feel, but still fun, of course. And geared toward what ages? All ages, honestly, yes. We love bringing magic to life for all ages. <laughs> and for the egg hunt, it'll be divided up, right? It will, actually. So this year, we are going to have a little tots area where those that are uh, three, four, and under, who maybe can't go as fast as the older ones, um, will be able to have an opportunity to pick their eggs at their leisure. <laughs> All right, and of course, if folks want some of the Once, in a, uh, once Upon a Party characters at their event, Yes, absolutely. So we do offer, uh, we are an event entertainment company, so we do private events as well as these events that we are hosting, like the Extravaganza. And very quickly, Tinkerbell has some pixie dust. And she we can, does, yes. Okay. yes. yes. Tinkerbell. Pixie dust is very special, and today we're going to use it to make some wishes. Close my eyes. <laughs> yes, so the very first step is to think of a wish or a wonderful thought that you want really badly, but make sure not to say it out loud. Right. Okay. <laughs> do you have your wish? Yes. Yep. Wonderful. Well, if you hold your hand out, I'll sprinkle some of the pixie dust. <laughs> Let's see, I can reach over here. And now, whenever I see the magic words, you're gonna throw your wishes up. Are we ready? Yep. Okay, now, may this wish bring joy and laughter, and above all else, a happily ever after. You can throw your wishes up now. Woo! <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you, you guys. Much. Appreciate it. All right, Once Upon a Party Spring Extravaganza is happening Saturday, April 9th at the Courtyard by Marriott in New Braunfels River Village. Go online for times and tickets. For a link, head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Earlier, we asked if you were Fiesta royalty, what would your title be? <laughs> Kathy says, Queen of the Veranda, right there. Duke of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> ah, ah, that's a good one, Alex. All right, Linda says, the Queen of Shopping. Like that one. And don't forget, after the Texas Cavaliers River Parade, which is going to be broadcast at 7 o'clock right here, we have a very special show coming up following that. Yes, our SA Live after party starts when the parade wraps up around 9 p.m. KSAT will broadcast the parade live at 7. So, Viva Fiesta! Indeed, and all the royalty, all the Fiesta royalty, and we now have new royal titles as well. Mm -hmm. Because you were the maiden of... Uh, cocktails. You, you switched yes, titles? Yes, they were incorrect. And because the, you are the... definitely the prince of sneaking food. Because you do. Okay. He does. I admit to it. <laughs> have a wonderful first weekend of Fiesta, everybody. We will see you later.